Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just finished watching House of the Dragon episode 4 and guys... <laughs> Where the fuck do I start? <sighs> so we're just gonna just dive right in to all the fucking fuckery that we had to go through this episode. <sighs> Now, I have to be very fucking careful with my words. They shot the Rhaenyra ex Damon scene so fucking. What word do I want to use here? Sexually tense obviously it's a sex scene right it was unfucking believable unbelievable now we have this scene with the queen and the king rhaenyra's friend and her dad did never wanted that sex scene never wanted it but we get it anyway we get this completely dry disgusting, horrible, horrific sex scene with the king and the queen. It's horrible. Uh, Lady Allison is like looking, you know, she wants no part in it. And they did this purposely. They put these two sex scenes in the same episode on purpose. She's, she doesn't want to be there. Even when the maid lady comes in and calls her to the king's room, she's like, it's late. She's like, yeah, well, king called you, bitch. Get on in there. Allison goes and she's like, until the king wants some, some eye contact. And then she's like, huh. But she's not happy to be there. Who would be? He's old. He's decrepit. His skin is peeling off. He's on borrowed time, right? Like, the king is dying soon. <sighs> I'm just so disgusted, guys, because this was shot in such a passionate and raunchy way. And the only thing that's stopping me from saying that is the sexiest shit I've ever seen is the context. That this is an uncle and a niece. And it's so fucking disgusting because, what, Rhaenyra's like 20 at this point. 24... 23 tops. 20. Who knows? Maybe she's 19. Like, ugh, and Damon has to be 40. He has to be 40. And they're related. This is your uncle. And I fucking told you guys, and I knew, and I fucking said, and I knew, with the Targaryens, you can never tell if the scene is just, oh, cute uncle, niece relationship right when he puts that necklace on her it's like wow that was cute and or that was the lead up to what we got this episode very uncomfortable not great <laughs> i'm sitting here watching the scene like and then my brain is going back and forth between wow that's hot he's like teasing her whatever woo woo to this is somebody's fucking uncle. I'm I'm supposed to understand these people as uncle and niece in this series. This is so fucking uncomfortable and disgusting. But the other side of that, and I'm trying to be careful with my words, guys. I think incest is the most disgusting thing on the planet. But my brain can kind of compartmentalize the fact that this is supposed to be uncle and niece. And the fact that this is two people in real life who aren't related. And this scene is choreographed in a very intriguing way. I'm trying my hardest, guys. I'm trying so hard to make this sound digestible. But... Let me take it out of context for you, right? And tell you why this is appealing out of context only. In context, it's fucking disgusting. And he's obviously manipulating her to manipulate her dad, right? He's obviously um, 
trying to fuck them all over so he can be king. Now, I said in a previous video that her and Damon are probably going to end up getting married. And now it looks like that's more possible than ever since she's not a maiden anymore, I guess. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, out of context, this is a scene of someone... Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. But just imagine this. Damon's not her uncle. It's a guy who helps her escape the castle for one night. He shows her all these things she's never seen before. All of this stuff that a princess can only dream. She just wants to be normal for one day. And he helps her do this. This is what happens in like other princess movies, right? Um, but it's definitely not their uncle. They're definitely not related. Takes her on a night for the town and it ends in a passionate, steamy sex scene. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I'm princess, right? But add in the context that this is her uncle, it's fucking disgusting. It's putrid. But hey, nobody else will fucking say it, so I'll fucking say it. The scene was written fucking well. It was written sexy and raunchy and it's so disgusting considering the context but i'm just saying that's disgusting <laughs> basically what ends up happening is she's drunk and damon teases her right he gets her excited he shows her porn basically which gets her excited he starts her off and then you know she goes with the knight which i also predicted so Two ships that I predicted happened in this episode. It's fucking crazy. Well, three, if we're counting the queen and the king, but I feel like everybody could have guessed that. So anyway, she has relations with her knight guy, which very I'm a fan of because he's hot. And, you know, she does her thing. Like, she gets on top and I'm like, what's going on here? Like, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> should I be seeing all this? But, you know, it is Game of Thrones, right? Like, it's Game of Thrones adjacent. I'm used to the sex, the titties, the saw some cocks, I mean. Um, but what Damon was doing was really fucking manipulative. He's showing um, Rhaenyra that, hey, look, the citizens don't support you, right? He shows her this play where they're all like, we don't fucking support a queen. We don't support a lady ruler, basically, right? To get that festering in her head, oh, they'll never accept me. Then he takes her on the town, he gets her drunk, takes her to a whorehouse, shows her porn, basically. And that's how this situation happened. That's how this all happened. And I'm just saying, this bitch better drink the abortion juice. She better fucking drink the tonic or whatever the fuck is that is, right? She better fucking drink that, at the very least. This is a series where just nobody is listening to anybody. And it's like, God damn it. This one time, just fucking listen to somebody. And that's ironic because the king, he pretty much does whatever Rhaenyra says. And I feel like that's going to bite him in the ass with the situation with the hand of the king. Because he had the correct idea. The hand of the king was very self-interested right that's true but two things can be true at once never forget two things can always be true at once he was self-interested but he was also a very good and very loyal hand of the king it's true so what he basically did was he put the realm first right which is why he basically convinced the king to cut his wife open. Because he knew a boy was the only way the realm would be satisfied. This misogynistic realm, right? Um, so he put the realm first. And then once the opportunity arose, why not send my daughter in there? You know, it's, it's manipulative. Anyways, change of topic. Let's talk about um, the reconciliations this episode. We get Damon reconciling with the king, right? That was, I love that scene. It was really tense, right? At first it was gripping me. I was like, oh my God, like, is he going to stab the king? Is the fight going to ensue? But no, they hug. And then the audience clapped. I felt that. I was like, yeah, I like that. And somehow Allison and Rhaenyra reconcile, which I don't understand. But I guess you can't really, you can't hold a grudge forever. 
it's just not healthy and it's just not worth it and rainier is pretty lonely so yeah she needs somebody and then alice um lady allison's like yeah i'm fucking lonely too so they basically just bury the beef which i fucking appreciate i was like okay yeah cool i mean i don't know if i'd be able to get over some bitch that was my friend fucking my dad but i mean hey what are you gonna do you know i just want to say that uh rainiera with the with her knight it really was looking like some daenerys and Jon snow shit 100 percent looking like some daenerys Jon snow shit like how it was shot and her knight's demeanor and like his honor everything just fucking mirrored daenerys and Jon snow to me i was like what the fuck it was great it was great and that's my ship right there like if i had to be one of those people like i have a ship in this fucking show i would say it was rhaenyra and her fucking knight because he's fucking sexy he's sexy rhaenyra's beautiful and i fucking love her character right so like this is my dream pairing. Like, I'm literally a self-insert as Rhaenyra. And so I feel like when she's getting it in with the night, I'm getting it in with the night. And I, of course, would love to get it in with the night because he is fucking gorgeous. The uncle scene, we already went over that. Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. Ugh. And then just, like, the physical differences, like, the sexual dimorphism, like, She's just so much smaller than him. It was just so fucking uncomfortable to watch. So bad to watch. But then, like, like I explained earlier, the dichotomy of, like, um, conceptually, this is something intriguing that any girl would love. Uh, yeah. Let me escape from the castle just for one night with you. It's so romantic. It is. It is. But then you add in the context that this is her uncle, and it's like, I'm going to fucking gouge my eyes out. This is disgusting. It definitely felt like there was a lot of filler this episode. I don't know if that's because the end of this episode was so fucking chaotic. The sex scenes and stuff that I just can't even remember the previous stuff, right? There was Rhaenyra trying to choose a husband and she's like, nope, 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 nope. Little boy kills somebody. I mean, like, it felt, it felt like there was some fucking filler. So I think we went over all the big stuff. The reconciliations, the sex scenes. Rhaenyra better drink that fucking abortion juice, I swear to God. And the king is definitely going to die. He's looking worse and worse. His skin looks terrible. And I think the king getting rid of his king's hand was the most ridiculous and the stupidest decision he's ever made. Because while, yes, his hand was self-interested... He did put the realm first. It's true. Two things can be true at once. He was interested in the well-being of the king as well. And so now what we're going to get is we're going to get a hand who's worse than that. I don't know who the hand's going to be. I have no fucking idea who the hand's going to be. All I know is he's not going to be as loyal as what's his name, Otto. He's not going to be as loyal as him or as smart or he's going to be even more self-interested. What I'm just glad about is that it definitely won't be Damon, right? Damon's being banished. And I definitely do not think Rhaenyra is going to marry this um, this guy that her dad's trying to push onto her. In any case, I am very much excited to see what is next. I am very much disturbed. I don't want to see any more fucking incest scenes. I knew that was coming. I fucking knew in my body and in my soul that Rhaenyra and the uncle were going to do something. I thought they were going to get married or... The, just the how is what caught me by surprise because I thought they were going to marry each other and like he was going to become king via her or some shit. That's what I thought. And it looks like that's what he wanted to do. But I think it is important to realize that he, I guess, chickened out of taking her virginity. So that's why he left her like, oh, my God, I want more or whatever. Right. So he does have like a little bit of a heart, just like a tiny little tiny piece of a heart. Cause he's like, I can't do this actually, you know, like at first he was like teasing her a little bit and then he's like, actually, no, not going to work. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like his conscience saved him or something. I don't know. And he left out of there, but she being the girl boss, she is, she was like, I'm going to get mine tonight. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so she's like, my night's here. Let's have it. And then we got this fucking Jon Snow Daenerys type of beat, bro. I was like, this is what I'm here for. 
yeah anyways that's it for this video make sure you comment like and subscribe and come back next week for the next review reaction i'm sorry if the beginning of this video seemed like pro incest or anything i really hope it didn't come across that way i hope i was able to articulate what i was trying to articulate what i was trying to say that conceptually escaping a castle for a night is a very romantic thing and the night ending in a passionate sex scene riveting right it sounds glorious it sounds like every princess's yearning dream but adding in the context of the uncle that's what makes it a fucking nightmare for me right and that's what that's the dichotomy of viewing a scene like this right i don't know and i don't know i'm interested to see if people think that there's like certain ramifications for showing a scene like this on tv like i don't know i just feel like ugh. You know, like, what if people get inspired by that shit? And they're like, you know, my uncle's kind of hot. Like, I'm going to throw up. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.